Hi, everybody. I'm here this week with uh, Free Spirit Fabrics. Uh, we're doing our weekly Inspired By series. And we welcome all of you this week joining us. Uh, we're always excited to be here. And we have a very exciting uh, program this week. I'm just trying to look for my notes. So hold on one second while everybody comes through. Uh, we welcome all of our, folk, uh, our sewing enthusiasts. I'm waiting to hear that we are in fact live. I'm pretty certain that we are. We're here the 29th day of October. And I am Sharon Thornton with Free Spirit Fabrics. If you are interested in anything about Free Spirit Fabrics, please go to our website. It's freespiritfabrics.com. And you can see all of our collections and you can see everything that we do that's Free Spirit. Um, our guest this week is Sharon Cole from the Tuffet Source. And you can find anything related to Tuffets at the Tuffetsource.com. Anything that we have that's coming up uh, today in, this, in today's program. As we wait for more uh, guests to join us, I would like to remind everybody that our Free Spirit presentations every week are live right now when we're doing them. And then we do post them onto our Facebook page, we post them to our Instagram page, and we post them to our YouTube channel. And Sharon from the Tuffet Source will also be posting this onto her platform as well. Uh, we do like to know where you're joining us from, so please tell us if you, we have guests that join us from all over the world, and we do love to know where you're joining from. We would love uh, for you to send us hearts and thumbs up as we go through the program, the things that you love. Just throw some hearts on there as you see wonderful things, uh, which you will. Every week we try to bring you something that inspires you by Free Spirit Fabrics, and we're totally hoping that this week is very inspirational. Um, every week we're trying to bring you more content to think of Free Spirit Fabrics differently. And uh, this week's an exciting week as well. Um, this week we have Tula Pink line work. So you probably see this gorgeous quilt that's behind me. This quilt is called Opening Night and it's designed by Tula Pink. This quilt was actually designed by Tula Pink. And if you are interested in taking a larger view of, the, of this quilt, you can go to Free Spirit Fabrics Dot com and you can go under our projects tab and you can see this quilt and you can see many other pieces of inspiration uh, under that tab showing all kinds of uh, inspiration that we have created in this line work uh, collection. This collection is delivering to quilt shops this week. It's actually just starting to roll out, which makes us all the more exciting. You know, the shops are just receiving the merchandise now and the uh, users, all of the sewists and everybody out there is just, you know, able to literally get their hands on this fabric, which is just gorgeous. So the, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the quilt. So it's called Opening Night. It takes about 17 yards of fabric to make the top of this quilt and three yards of fabric uh, for the backing of this quilt. It's a full size quilt. It looks gorgeous on a full size bed. I know that because I auditioned it on a bed in my house. I have a beautiful wrought iron bed that I had redone in, um, it was my grandmother's and I had it refinished in black. And I laid this quilt on it just to see for sure how it fit, fit perfectly, looks beautiful, auditioned wonderfully. And I think you should all audition one on your own beds at home. So a beautiful quilt, please you know, look into it. I'd like to show you um, a little bit of the line before we move over to Sharon for her to show us all the fantastic tuffets that she's made. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the line. So this line, like I mentioned, is uh, designed by Tula Pink. And the basis of the line is a black and white line. So Tula has uh, developed many of the different fabrics out of this line out of black and white uh, animals. Uh, this is her albino peacocks and done in all black and white. And you can see in each one that there is some color. And then in this one here is a skunk. I hope you guys can see this okay. There's this, a, a little skunk in there and he's all black and white. And there's a little bit of color in it. And then there's this one that's called sketchy, like a design pad when Tula starts doing her work. She starts on a design pad and graph paper. And then here's a lemur. You can see the pops of color there. So what should call this? Yeah, lemur, lemur me alone. I love that. Here we've got some pandas. 
got some zebras, of course, because it wouldn't be complete without a zebra. You could see the color running through the zebra and the stripes. And I, we, we have also, I don't want to miss these, uh, the palms here. These are Tula's spots. She's got them in two different colorways. We've got stripes. We've got hexes down here. There's a rainbow hexy in this collection. And then we also have a mineral, uh, one of Tula's mineral skews. And then the last skew I'd like to show you is this one. It's 108 inch backing. This is called Sketchy Ur. It's 108 inch, 100% cotton sateen. It's really got a beautiful hand to it. And this again is just a larger uh, piece of the Sketch E that's in the collection. So the scale on the Sketch E from the collection is smaller than the backing. So it's a beautiful, beautiful collection. So I just want to encourage all of you, if you have any more questions, reach out to your local quilt shop, ask them about the line, go onto our Free Spirit website, uh, go to Free Spirit website and look up the project or projects that you might be interested in in this line work collection. So we're really excited about that. So we have Sharon Cole here with us this week. And uh, she has made some beautiful, beautiful uh, tuffets using line work, which I'm gonna turn the camera over to Sharon in one minute. But before I do that, I'd like to let you know that Lindsay Dryden is on on behalf of Free Spirit Fabric. She's answering, putting up links and answering questions where she can. I'll be looking at questions as they come up. I'll be looking for questions. Sharon will probably be answering a lot of uh, questions along the way. So please be patient, please watch and see everything she has to show us. And if you have questions, I'll be looking for those questions. Sharon will likely answer a lot of those questions, but we'll be very mindful to look at all of this and answer questions for you. And I would like to thank Mr. Tuffett, Alan, for being there to help Sharon today and Sharon's daughter, Jennifer. So we appreciate you guys being there as well. So Sharon, without further ado, I am going to change my screen over to you. And hold on one second, I'll let you know when you are um, hold on. Okay, I'm coming over to you. I think we're both up and you are now on screen. So Sharon, oh. I would really like to welcome you. You, you, thank you for, so much for coming. And I am going to turn the whole program over to you and I will ask you some questions as I see them come and I will try not to interrupt too much. So welcome. We're so thrilled to have you. Thank you so much, Sharon. I can't tell you, how, well, I have told you how excited I am to be able to do this and to work with Tula's fabrics. They're just great. So first of all, it's always polite to acknowledge um, your host. And so I'm, I'm grateful to Free Spirit for this opportunity and to you, Sharon, for the invitation. And of course, to Mr. Tuffet, who's right here, ready to hold my hand if I need it held. And uh, Jennifer, our daughter, who has made a big space in her very busy day to run the camera. So um, you know, just leaping right into it, a little bit about Alan and myself. Uh, we've been married for 50 years. Uh, he was a systems analyst when he um, worked at a real job. Now he works for Tuppet Source. And he's the guy that makes sure everything gets done right. Like the books balance, the lines are straight on our patterns. Um, the shipping gets out on time and he keeps me in line because I'm sort I'm the muse and so I just sort of bounce all over the place and he makes sure that I always land on the right spot so I'm grateful to him because we wouldn't be where we are without him. Um, our history for Tuffet Source is kind of an interesting one. Uh, I was inspired um, by Keith Facet's quilt book called Passionate Patchwork. And I'm not sure what year that book came out, but he has a tuffet in the book called Turban Tuffet. And when I opened up that book and I saw the tuffet, my heart actually, I mean, I think it left several times. And so we made Alan again, and I made an effort to figure out how to do it. He kind of gives you the overall idea, but you've got to figure out how to make it happen. And um, one little thing led to another. And before you know it, I was teaching tuffet making at uh, a shop in Chapelville, North Carolina called Thimble Pleasures. They're not here anymore, which is sad, but, um, but they gave me my opportunity to start teaching tuffets. And one thing led to another. Um, 
they just took off. I think the timing was right. And so by, uh, I think we started teaching in 2010 and six years, it was six years later, um, in 2014, we actually produced our first pattern commercially. And that is the 18 inch piece tuppet pattern. And what made us unique is that we include a foundation with all of our patterns. So with our instructions and the foundation is what creates a beautiful, accurate tuppet. It also gives you the platform for which you're going to design any of the tuppets that we're gonna look at today. So the pattern, um, was this pattern was our first outing, if you will, into um, the world of distributors and wholesalers and all the rest of that. But it's been my retail customers that have just really put us over the moon with, um, with the number of patterns that we have been able to sell and the number of tuppets that have shown up on the marketplace. I do have a um, Facebook page on uh, called Tuppet Source and we do post um, could you have bring the kid over? We do post the uh, tuppets that our students have made there so that you can be inspired if you haven't made one before. So after we came up with our pattern, we knew we were going to have to supply kits. We were going to have to be able to assure, I was going to use the word guarantee, but assure as much as possible that the student was going to be successful. So we were the first people to use a plywood platform. And if you'll notice, there are eight holes and that gives the creator a chance to use either chunky feet or more narrow feet. So Jennifer's coming in, do I have Tuppet Source? Yep. And you will know it's a Tuppet Source kit that has the stamp on it. I can't tell you how many times people call and they've got a complaint about the kit they bought from somewhere and it's not one of ours, but just because, you know, it, our name is familiar, they think they all belong to us. Another thing that makes us unique at the time was the beveled edge. Now you'll note that a lot of other tuppet makers are doing the beveled edge now. And that gives you the nice rounded corner that you're going to see. One of the most important and it get, grab, grabs a lot of lint here. Important ingredients to a successful tuffet is this, um, what's called fiber. If you're an upholsterer, it's called fiber. And it is a polyester product that is designed for the uh, furniture industry. It is not batting. Batting doesn't give you the same result. It doesn't, it's firm. It's firmer and you can put a lot of pressure on it to make sure that you get a nice rounded tuffet. And then finally, we always include a button kit, which has the, hang the gathering cords and the tufting cords in it as well. And of course, a set of four feet. And as we go through the different tuffets that we're gonna look at, those are just some of the feet that we have, the feet. Got that? The feet that we have. We know it's feet. <laughs> yeah. So, as I said, the foundation is what made us unique. And one of the things about our foundation, if you can see that, Jennifer says, come closer to me, is we have the sewing lines already printed on the foundation and we have the sequence. If you look down here where my finger is, you'll see an alphabet sequence A, B, C, D, E, and that is the um, sequence that you would do your stitching. That's the perfect. center line. See that now, so that's great. The center line is right here in the center and we always start there. And I have um, a couple of pieces of fabric here just to show you how to get started. This can be confusing for um, repeat tuffet makers. It's like, how did we start again? So we always have two strips of fabric, right sides together. We're going to put the fabric right sides together on a surface and a white surface or a light colored surface always works best. And then we're going to take the foundation and lay it over the fabric strips 
And you can see that I've lined it up with the solid line. There's a solid line and a dotted line. The dotted line is where you stitch. The solid line is where you line up the fabric. And after you've stitched it down, you press it open and you've got the beginning of your tuppet strip. And we added a third one. So you can see how you start building your tuppet. You start building from the center and you go to the outside. Now, what made it fun with the tuppet we're gonna look at right here in a minute is that I was able to alternate the true colors with every one of the line work mo motifs, which made it, um, I think, just sparkle. So another thing that we do differently that is important to highlight is how we set our button. So with the kit, you will get this two and a half inch button. And typically it has the little hook here. This is a type of button you might put in a large pillow. Um, and people are accustomed to using the teeth and gathering the fabric over the dome, using the base to clip into the teeth so that it stays put. However, the pressure when you dimple your tuffet, the pressure from the foam can cause the top to pop off. So we devised um, a different way to use this dome shape and make our two and a half inch button secure. You cut a circle of fabric of the fabric that you're going to use for your button. And I always audition the button fabric after I've made the tuppet. The, this tuppet, I had entertained the idea of using the hexagon fabric here, but it just didn't pop the way the polka dot did. So I didn't know that until after I actually had everything assembled and I could put my fabric in the center. So we have a template for you in the pattern. Cut your fabric, cut your fiber. You divide the fiber in half. Why? Because it's pretty thick. <laughs> and just a little one layer of it is enough to cover, uh, to create the, the button cover we want. You do a running stitch around the button cover. And I use upholstery thread typically not found at your local quilt shop, but I think you know where to go and look for it. So we do run, and I use uh, about two yards of thread, two arm lengths, you know, that measurement. Um, oh, I gave you my button and I need it back. <laughs> oh. The button goes in the center. We pull it up tight. See that? See how nice and round it starts out as? And you can yeah, see, I still have a length of, of thread. I will secure the thread and then I will begin to do what I call like a wagon wheel. I stitch across until I've got this very, very secure so that the fabric is not going to shift around. So if I have a dot in the center, the dot stays in the center. And then finally, we anchor, these, this is called a hanging cord. I think you can see that. The hanging cord is, um, it's a lift cord. It is what's used in uh, Venetian blinds is what we used to call them. So any blinds, it's that kind of a cord is what it is. It comes in a variety of weights and um, we will use this to give our uh, tuffet a dimple. So I was gonna, we'll just, Yep. Carry on. Yep. So with that, and going back to what does it all get you? It gets you a top of that looks like this. That's beautiful, and, Sharon. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, I was each each layout inspired me to try another iteration. So Typically, the first tuppet looks like this. Uh, if tuppet makers will want to make what's called the 64 strip tuppet. It's the one that you see on the cover of this pattern, 64 strips of fabric. And I tried to lay out the true colors in a rainbow. So Roy G. Uh -huh. R-O-Y-G. Right. Yeah. Okay. That was and, yeah. Well, I like 
I like order and I like symmetry. And yeah. so that way uh, it, it pleased my senses, you know, just because I like it that way doesn't mean you have to like it that way. You can do whatever you like. So this was our first, uh, the first top that, that I made. And it's also the first design, of course, that we came up with for tuppets. Now, our students, what I found is that people like to make more than one tuppet. And they didn't want them all to be all stripey. So then we came up with this layout, which we call our 4121. It's not on any pattern. We still use, we still use this pattern for this tuffet. But what the 4121 means is this is a panel right here, a foundation panel. This covers four sewing lines. This is one sewing line, two sewing lines, and one sewing line. So it gives the, the maker an opportunity to highlight large print fabrics. So a lot of, I've done a lot of cape tuffets where you'll have one of those lovely large florals and then some of the accompanying tuff, or fabrics to go with it. Um, and you could also put four strips of fabric here too, if you like. But this is what I called, you know, one iteration of our basic tuffet. And then because I was having so much fun and I thought, well, we were really talking about black and white uh, tuffets and I hadn't really, you know, I'd introduced all of these beautiful, luscious, true colors, because I'm a color person, into the tuffet. And then I decided I would, try one just in black and whites with just the true color. Can you see this? That's amazing. I love it. Isn't it? Yeah, that's great. Okay. So this strip covers two stitching lines. This one covers six. Wow. So that way you take advantage of the beauty of each one of these designs. You know, you can really see the animals um, right. as I was working with uh, this line of fabric. You know, I went, first of all, the little, first the little skunk was my favorite. And then I really, really liked the panda. And then the zebra, and then it was the peacock. And the lemur did not make it onto this tuffet because I like symmetry. And so, you know, I balanced with the pandas and I balanced with the peacocks. I did balance with, yes, I did right here. So. You know, it's just my preference as to how I like to do things. But I, I think it really, it turned out really, really. It looks fantastic. Great. Sharon, I have a question for you. Uh -huh. So the tuffet there that we see on the right, that one, but, yes. Yes. So would you say in terms, I think I know the answer, but I'm just going to ask, would you say that that one's more labor intensive than the other in terms of yes. time? Okay. Good question. So yes, and now I'm, I have a little bit of experience making tuffets and it would take me a good eight hours of sewing to make this tuffet because each okay. one of these strips needs to be stitched on. This tuffet, you could probably do in three hours okay. because there's just not right. that much sewing. Right. So, so you, if you want it quick, right. this layout. Or if and you have a, um, you know, a design like Tula's line work where you want to show more of the collection. Exactly. If you have a special print, that one's a great example of what to do. And the one on the other side with the two colors in it, you know, right. you can add all kinds of color to it. And I also wanted to mention, I, I don't think I mentioned in the beginning um, to the to our viewers today that Sharon's showing these tuffets. I know I talked about the line work collection and that's what's being featured here. But like Sharon has said, Tula has true colors and her true colors collection are all of those beautiful rainbow, right? That Sharon's showing in that tuffet. All of those beautiful rainbow fabrics are in Tula's true colors. And those are in quilt shops now. Those shipped, I think back in April, I think of this past year or June, I don't really recall, but I know that those are in quilt shops and the line work's coming out. And Sharon, I'd say that after this, um, inspiration that you've had working on this line, you would agree that the true colors work beautifully with the line work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It, I was, 
when we talked about the fabrics, you know, and we were trying to determine how I was going to put things together, it was like, oh, okay, send me some of those too. But oh my goodness, um, I just really enjoy working with them, love them. So uh, it makes all the difference in the world. And we'll go with so many other lines of fabric as well. Exactly. So, you know, it, it is, and the, I like clear colors and these are beautifully clear, love them. Love your buttons too. I loved how you did the, the spot on the buttons. Very nice. It's sort of like the personality of the tuffet. And uh -huh. um, while we're talking about, you know, your, uh, the fabrics being in the quilt shops this month, the, the line work, I wanted to make sure that we don't forget to tell our viewers that there is a very special opportunity for them um, from now until November 12th we're going to offer a 20% discount on our patterns and our Tuffet kits at mm -hmm. uh, tuffetsource.com. And you will need to enter in a coupon code, is that what we're calling it? Called Free Spirit. So, you know, take like advantage that, of man. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's easier for people to remember too, Free Spirit. Mm -hmm. And then also, if anybody, um, if, you're looking for a topic class and your local quilt shop is not offering one. I am an eye quilt instructor. So you can look at my website, topitsource.com, and you can see a trailer for this particular class. You can also purchase it there. And we also have it on DVD, which if you, uh, the DVD though is only through um, AQS, American Quilter Society, the umbrella company for eye quilter. So moving along. Well, hold on, we Sharon, one, one second. There's a couple <laughs> of questions that we, I know that we were going to talk about, but we're getting questions on. So the tough, uh -huh. the tough it with the true colors right there. What are the, yes, what are the fabric requirements? People are asking what, what are needed to make that tough it and maybe a couple of the others in terms of fabric if they were to purchase. Well, this tough it can be made with one design roll of each, I would imagine. So a design roll of the true colors and a design roll of the- um, Line work. Uh, line work, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, because uh, the uh, design rolls are the width of fabric, which is usually 42 inches. And if you cut mm -hmm. the strip in half, you've got a 20 inch, 21 inch, half, uh, inch strip. And that is what you need for um, to cover the top of foundation. So really uh, design roll of each. You, then you would need a quarter yard to cover the bottom. Make sure it's okay to cover the bottom of the tuffet and then a six inch square to cover the button. Right, so, so the bottom, the quarter yard of fabric could be anything. A fat quarter, I'm sorry, right. it should be a fat oh, quarter. A fat yeah. quarter, oh, okay. Yeah, and now we're looking for one of the tuffets that actually has a bottom on it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll okay. get you. That'll be the chevron one. Sharon, you can show us what it looks like unfinished. People like to see that. Well, okay, but let me see. Let's do. I have a method to my madness. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to to uh, change. No, no. that's okay. We're flexible here. So, the yep. underside of the tuffet. You can see how the foundation wraps. Right. And then you would need to cut a circle of fabric to cover up all this rough stuff underneath right. here so that it's finished. A lot of people in this area of the tuffet will also put a um, label, particularly mm -hmm. if it's a gift. Oh, it's a nice yep. to have a label that'll say to from, or you know, if it's an anniversary, I had, oh, here we go. Uh, he's oh, great. Oh, look at that. So, so Sharon, you know who made it, um, right. what the you whole You finished is. the, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, that edge of the bottom, is that a finished edge or is that a raw edge of that circle? Finished. Okay. But, but all you do is cut the circle and I run um, a sewing line about less than a half inch, but more than a quarter inch from the edge. Mm -hmm. And that sewing line will give you exactly what you need to turn under. And then I staple it in place. And if oh. I'm really being fancy, then I will take a flat cord. You could use rickrack. You could use whatever you want. And I glue it on top. Ah, that would be pretty. So much okay. to do. 
Now, so much preparation. Back. Now you're get you've got me out of sequence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> so, because we've already discussed that there is a time commitment with the 64 strip tuppet, uh -huh. we decided that we had to come up with something for people that need it quick. You know, they want to be fast. So this is our tuppet a day. That's awesome. And if, if you'll notice. The top in the day has a much more relaxed look. There are pleats and gathers at the top versus the peace tuffet, which is more tailored. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's flatter. It is. It could be more elegant looking if we were looking for elegance. I see. This tuffet is made with thirty two and a half inch strips of fabric, okay? 32 and a half inch strips of fabric that are stitched together to make a tube. Then it's gathered together at the top and at the bottom. I did finish the bottom on this one. Oh, wrong way, top it soars. And we're covering the bottom with that fabric again. But because and it depends on the thread count and the fabric you're using as to whether or not you could get that hole at the top small enough for a two and a half inch button to cover. So we couldn't be sure that everybody would be able to pull it tight enough or that the fabric, we, we didn't know what fabric people would be using. So we came up with a custom button cover just for the uh, top in the day. It's a four inch disc with foam and we include the fiber so that you can cover it. And there is a, a template so that you know or a, instructions to know how large the fabric needs to be to cover that. And then we have the gathering cords and tufting cords for it. So that's what you're looking at with this tuffet is a four inch button. Gotcha. And so it does a great job of covering up all of that gathering. So the Sharon, pattern. The difference, yep. the difference between these two that you're showing us really is that one is basically foundation paper piece. Well, not paper piece, but if you were foundation pieced. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a foundation pieced tuffet. And the other one here that you're showing us on our left, but your right, is more like the tubes. And so you're just gathering it in. So you yes. can you can make this much more quickly. Yes, you can. And we also use the foundation with this one to protect the fabric from the fiber. So uh -huh. you will sew the eight pieces of the foundation together. So it's like an undergarment. Uh, think uh -huh. of it like a corset. Yeah. So we do include the foundation again with the pattern, with the instructions. And uh, the reason we do that again is because the fiber is coarse and our cotton is not meant, most people use quilters cotton and it's mm -hmm. not meant for that type of abuse. And so it protects the cotton from undue wear and tear if you actually use it, you know, if you put right. your feet on it and sit on it and that sort of thing. And right. so it, um, it is made first, then we do the tube. Okay. And there, there are three different types of top in a day that you can do. The instructions are all in one pattern. That's awesome. And, uh, so Jen, we, you know, there, yes. there was a question about the fabrics. So I heard you just say that all of these we know are made with 100% cotton fabrics. Yes. You know, this is free spirit fabrics and this is how we produce our fabrics. Um, would you recommend anyone use it? You know, are these patterns really designed for quilters cotton? Or, you know, would you ever suggest somebody use upholstery or would you say that's too heavy to actually, well, I know. No, they're perfect yeah. for upholstery. And oh. if, we, if we were doing a tuffet, not a, a tulip pink line work, tuffet trunk show, um, I have put together some lovely, um, lovely tuppets using a, well, when I say upholstery fabric, it's got to be the weight that you would use for drapery or not. Well, you could do a chenille one. Yes, you can use yeah. any fabric. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Yes. So. Um, and you, 
Well, and I've got a number of my students that have made um, tie tuppets, so mm -hmm. silk ties, and you oh. just need to stabilize the ties mm -hmm. with uh, a woven interfacing and then use them as strips of fabric. Right. Okay. okay. So we're going to move along, move this tuffet out of the way. And the next fun thing that we came up with was the tuffet topper. Yes. Love and that. that was just to add a little bit of interest to a tuffet, you know, just a little fofferall, I guess. And uh, we're going to swap out that tuffet for this one. And as I was making the topper, I, again, I'm a symmetrical person, so I wanted to use, I used the same fabrics in the center and in the first row and the second row, and then I used the black and whites for the petals, okay? Yeah. Now, if you were using another line of fabrics and you had several yellows to choose from, for example, you could use a variety of yellow to give it a little bit more interest. But as I was making this, the thing that kept going through my mind was, this is a Tula Tuffet Topper. Tula <laughs> Tuffet Topper. Now say that three times, Tula Tuffet Topper. <laughs> but I loved it. And it yep. So what is a Tuffet Topper? Well, we have this lovely Tuffet. And this was our 4121. And it's beautiful by itself, has a great button. And when we take our topper, and I'm going to need the poke, the, no, the poke. So fun, one. Sharon. That's so fun. And I hope you can see, let me turn it so you can see what I'm doing. There is, I slashed the center. Mm -hmm. The petals are stitched to a base. And then I just slashed the base. I suppose if you were, uh, you were, someone who cared that threads might show after it's been in and out a couple times, you might want to finish that. So like they're big buttonholes or something, but mm -hmm. anyway, do we have that all in place? Yes. Yeah. So I liked this look and you can see this is the button that was originally on the tuffet and that looked good. But I thought, you know, it could be a little bit, we could have a little more zip to it. So I created yep. a a little shower cap is what I call it. So it's actually a slip cover for the button as well. And yeah. now I want you to remember what this looks like. Yeah. So I'm gonna slip this over and it's snug. So ah, it's gonna go easily. She said. That is so awesome. It's so creative, Sharon. The Tula Tuffet Topper. Topper. Wow. Yep. Just that slight change makes a big difference. It really pulls the dots from the yep. leaves in. It just, it focuses the eye on the center of the tuffet. Yes. And this, so it can change the look of your tuffet. If, um, if you wanted something, I've done one that looks like a poinsettia for the holidays for us. So mm -hmm. I have green leaves on the outside and a very uh, varied collection of reds for the petals and then mm -hmm. a green center. So, you know, we can do whatever we want because after all, all of us are going to be home for a while. Right. So we can right. do that. So we can okay. make hot topic toppers. Oh, Tula awesome. topic toppers yes. out of our line work. So one of our um, fun things that we did, I like these little trays. These were originally uh, trays that came in a plastic container for uh, wrapping paper. So this is where you put your, anyway, I digress. Oh, so we no, created a, idea. <laughs> a little tuffet topper. Uh -huh. We do, this comes as a complete kit, everything you need to make the tuffet with the exception of the fabric. The instructions were done for us by a graphic designer. Wow, very nice. And so there's nothing complicated here. And the self-explanatory? Self-explanatory, marvelous mini. Oh, Don't you love that? that? Yeah. Now, yeah. I want everybody out there, and I'm, I'm kind of doing this to mesmerize <laughs> you. I want everybody who would love to have this tuffet to send a heart 
And then after the program, zip on over to toughatsource.com and add your name to our email list. And we're gonna draw from that email list, the new people that are signing up for our email will draw out of those names and you will get this marvelous mini. There'll be a Tula, winner. Tula line topper without a topper. Well, it does sort of have a topper. It has this little thing in yes. it. And That's while I'm pointing to this, I made it with this little template, this little kit. It's called Making It Cute uh -huh. by me and my sister designs. Nice. Okay. And it, she has all the templates in it to make these cute little flowers and ah. a perfect scale for the mini. Yes. Awesome. Okay. What comes in the kit is first of all, you're going to get wood, hardware, the little foam with the fiber already on top of it and four feet plus the cords to do the gathering. And just to do a quick little step out, you only need, this is not a big fabric taker upper. So this is the sort of thing that you might mm -hmm. make from your scraps. Um, it's a great, what do I do with them? It's a great pin cushion on steroids. It's great for 18 inch dolls. And I have made several that are seasonal that I use for decorating around my house for whatever season it is. So you need a one and one quarter inch strip of fabric with a fabric strip. You sew a strata, or is it stratum? I'm not I'm sure. sure. I'm sure someone will correct us. But <laughs> you sew a strata, you divide it in four, cut it into four, sew it into a tube. Is this beginning to sound like the tough it in the day? Yes. Sew it into a tube, you gather it at the top. Really tightly. Yes. And by the way, a square knot uh, will be your friend in making tuffets. And it, I visited several sites online to find out how to do a square knot before I actually learned how. But anyway, we, uh, we gather it up at the top. It will fit on over the fiber and, um, and then tighten it on the bottom. And of course we put a bottom, this one, yeah, this one has a little bottom on it. So you can see yeah. we cover the bottom as well. Now, when I was choosing the button, and of course we wanted to, I wanted it to be just black and white because again, I love this little panda guy. Mm -hmm. He's adorable. So I created two flowers out of the polka dot. Yeah. And when you put that, I'll do it on top of the one I've already. Oh, done. look at that. Is that not the cutest? It is. And it totally changes the look. It does, doesn't it? So here yeah. it is with, without. And so yeah. this is like, do you miss me when I'm gone? Are you glad I came back? <laughs> <laughs> right, just options. I mean, you can create however you want, right? Yes, That's we beautiful. have lots That's and lots of, of options. Right. So let's the, see, we've done our- The um, are very creative, Sharon. I mean, to be able to make the tuffet, but then to add the, top, it's, uh, the toppers on top is really pretty awesome. Well, and then, you know, eventually you have to come up with something new again, right? Right. But again, everything is based on a foundation. So along came the chevron. Very nice. Look at and that. And this was actually the first tuffet I made for this presentation. And I have to confess, it was all the color that drew me in. I, I just, um, it, they're just so lovely. And I, it's like, okay, I've got to use this black and white stuff to, you know, because that's what it's all about. Right. And of course, then once I got comfortable here, then we went to all of this, you know, the other direction. But this right. is our chevron tuffet. And I want to show Strata. We have instructions, by the way, for that. And this is a companion to my 19-inch um, piece, 18-inch piece tuffet. I'm sorry. So you need both of these if you're going to do a chevron tuffet. Um, and Sarah, a, could you a, show us the side of that chevron uh, tuffet? we saw the top but we didn't really get to see the side very yes look at that awesome very nice you will very also nice. note that my points are not necessarily together we like that we like that <laughs> flexibility we like flexibility like that <laughs> however if that is something that you just could not live with then it is very possible and i have 
it was it was really stressful. But I did do a tough it where all the points came together, every single one of them. Um, and how you would make sure that happens is this is what I call a strata. Okay, so we have to stitch a right hand. Can you see, Chen? Should I pull it? A right hand and a left hand, and each piece of fabric has a little bit of a bump in or bump out, however you're choosing to look at it, that is about the width of your strip of fabric. And one of my favorite, there are two words I use all the time when I'm teaching. One is about, and the uh, which means sort of like about, as opposed and uh, close enough is good enough. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> and so we have a right hand and a left hand strata. Same idea, same sequence, okay, a fabric. And from these, you're going to cut strips. And once you have your strip, you can begin to see, now you treat it like any other piece of fabric. Now it is a strip of fabric instead of a strata. And you would sew these two together. And you can see how you can line up the sewing lines very nicely, except when your seam lines between your strips of fabric aren't exactly perfect. But that's close enough. And right. for me, that's good enough. So, right. you know, the chevron tuffet, but Sharon, the, the point is, I, I like what you're saying is that, you know, close enough. I mean, if you're a person like that and you're okay with that, you know, you can make this project quickly. And if not, if, if the, matching all those points really matters to you, you can still take the time, line Absolutely. them up, up right, and, and create it with everything lined up. Okay, now we're going to move along to, let's see, back to my 64, oh, oh yes. This one over here. Yes, the one that's missing. Yep. <laughs> All right, so originally we started looking at this tuffet. Yeah. And again, it's my 64 strip uh, tuffet. However, something's different now. It is. <laughs> that polka dot cap was on this because what I learned um, that many of my tuffet students enjoyed making more than one tuffet, but not in everybody's house has room. I have 11 in my house. Oh. Not everybody can do that. But if I want to, to change my tuffet for the season, again, I have an entry um, table and I like to put under that entry table, a seasonal tuffet. And so I've made one for Valentine's day, for Halloween, the 4th of July, and how I've done that without exhausting my supply of Tuffet kits is we have a slip cover. And this is our slip cover pattern. Again, complete instructions, and it does come with a foundation included with it. Because again, it's all built on a foundation. There are some modifications. One of the modifications is we do put a zipper in. So you see that? Yes, very cool. I, love I turn that. it this way so it can be a little closer to the camera. So why do we have to have a zipper? So we can open up the top of the tuffet and we can actually tuck it in under the button. And um, I like the nylon zippers because you can make it any length that you want. Mm -hmm. And um, you don't want, you, you have two choices in this little endeavor. One is to stop the zipper before you get to the shoulder, the round part of our tuffet is called the shoulder because we uh -huh. don't want any tails, you know, uh, zipper tails poking out or, right. you go, or you go all the way down. But right. then why do all that work when you right. only need a few inches to open up? Right. Exactly. And then of course, the little shower cap that we used on our Tula tuffet topper is actually from this tuffet. So it fits right on there. And um, like I said, I've made several uh, slip covers now just to entertain the different seasons. How it looks on the bottom, this is my original tuffet bottom and we put elastic in mm -hmm. here. Loosen your legs just a little bit so you can slide that elastic under the legs, tighten mm -hmm. them back up and 
voila. Wow. So Sharon, a couple yes. of questions for you. So I just want to make sure everybody understands what Sharon just showed us here. I mean, this is truly amazing. So she's shown us many tuffets that are, you know, as is tuffets. But what she just showed us here is a slip cover for a tuffet. So if you make a tuffet in a certain fabric and you decide, well, I love that. I love it year round, but you want to know what? I want to make another one and I want it to be seasonal. I can make a slip cover for my tuffet. Now, if you want to have 11 tuffets around your house like Sharon does, you can have 11 tuffets, but if you don't want 11 tuffets, you can make a slip cover for your tuffet. So that's pretty ingenious. But the other question that a lot of viewers have is what are you doing with your 11 tuffets that are around the house? Where do they go? <laughs> and what are the they audience, doing in your house? The audience is supposed to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, every bedroom has one. Yeah. Um, let me see. We've got one. What would be the living room is really what we call our library. That has one because you want to put your feet up when you're reading. Right. Then right. there's one under the uh, sofa table when you in the hallway. And then we have one in the family room where we watch TV. So you can put your feet up on that. And of course, one in the bedroom just because I want to look at it. Now, when the grand girls are, we have I forgot to say, we've got four grandchildren. And they're watching, Sharon. They've sent They us might notes. be. Hi, Riley. <laughs> Hi, Hayden. I don't think the boys are watching, but Chuck and Cole are very important to me, too. And by the way, Cole was my youngest tuffet maker ever. Wow. He was seven. Wow. That is a young tuffet seven. maker. Yeah. With the power gun and the goggles and the whole thing, we had so much fun. But each one of the grandchildren got a tuffet when they needed that little bit of extra assist to get into their big boy or big girl bed. And wow. so yeah. they, you know, they've gone from now uh, the little, the girls particularly, the little frilly tuffets to something a little more sophisticated because now they're in uh, middle school. And so, right. you know, the little ballerina thing isn't quite as exciting as it was. Right. Exactly. So once you've got the form built, once you know how to work with the pattern, you can do a slip cover. Yes, that is ingenious. Okay. Thank you for doing that. We love you for that. Now, can we do our sneak peek? Of course. You have a sneak of something to show us? I do. I do. I do. Oh my goodness. What is this, Sharon? I want to introduce you to Alice. Yes. And she's one of, this is coming out now. You can't this tell anybody. They can't tell that they saw this, right? Well, they. I mean, this, well, yes. No, it's this, out. It's so on the QT. <laughs> right. Right. You, 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 people are going to be really wanting to see that. So I just want to let everyone know that this is Tula's next line that is coming. Line work is delivering this week, and all of those tuffets that Sharon has just shown you are made out of line work and true colors. And this one that she's showing us right now is made from Tula's line that's coming in April. So everybody needs to get sewing their line work to get ready for the next one. This is called Curious and Curiouser. And that is Tula's uh, younger sister. And it's a play on Alice in Wonderland. And look at that tuffet and how beautifully designed that is. You've got a medallion on the top, or it looks like a medallion. Like if you're an English paper piecer, I mean, that's like amazing to create that design on top. And then on the side to see Tula's work, her design work is just incredible. So look at that. And what did you do, Sharon? Is that piping? This is piping. And this is one of the coordinated fabrics that comes with the line. Uh -huh. I don't remember the name of it. It has the little tiny yellow rose on it. So it's uh, pink, hot, the hot pink with a little yellow rose. And uh -huh. then this is just one, this is just the Alice fabric. So you would call, or I would call this a one fabric tuffet. So, you know, talking about designer, uh, decorator type of prints, you could do this sort of thing with a decorator print too, with putting piping in. But what I was able to do, it takes more fabric than, um, it depends on how the image is laid out, which is really important. Mm -hmm. uh, we ended up, are you ready for this people? We use two and a half yards of right. the Alice print in order for me to be able to cut 
a foundation without having to piece it. Right. And now that left me with a whole lot of other fabric left over that could be incorporated into a, a quilt or pillows or whatever you wanted to do with it. But I, the, the foundation is sheer enough that um, you can line up the faces so that your fabric design is going to come together at the right places. And yes. so... That's amazing. Thank you for showing that to us. That's a very sneak peek of the line curiouser and curiouser. I, I mispronounced earlier, I misspoke. It's curiouser and curiouser. Is the and one of the things Mr. Tuff had just pointed out is that he, he reminded me, I used a smaller button here. Oh, yes. Rather that this is a one and three quarter inch button rather than a two and a half because I didn't want to cover up any more of Alice's face than than what was necessary. Right. And right. because it there weren't all those seams like there would be with a 64 strip tuffet, the hole is much the opening at the top where they all came together was much smaller. So right. this was adequate to cover it. Right. That's so, beautiful, Sharon. Such a nice job. You have done, I mean. Free Spirit Fabrics obviously inspired you to make all of these tough ones. It did. Um, I just had such a great time. And, and again, I, before, we don't have to rush away, but before we do, I want to remind people that they can have a chance to win this yes. by going to toughatsource.com and signing up for our newsletter. And um, that there's a 20, everybody's a winner from now until November 12th, if you go to the website, we have the 20% discount. And what was the name that they had to put it in the coupon code? What was that code? I know, Free Spirit Fabrics. Or is you it just win. Free Spirit? Is it just Free Spirit or Free Spirit Fabrics? Just Free Spirit, just okay. Free Spirit. So One we word. have a couple of people, Sharon, just so that you know. Well, first of all, everyone is absolutely loving this and we're getting tons of hearts. You get tons of hearts once you announced 20% um, off. I mean, I think the screen filled with that. So there are some people that are actually trying to buy already. Is the, is the code um, already up? Is it up? <laughs> it is. Okay, so wait. Let but me if just... it's not working, have them send an email to info at Tuffet Source. That's Mr. Tuffet. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. So they okay, can send so all the questions to Mr. Tuffet. To info at Tuffet Source or Sharon at Tuffet Source and we'll make sure it happens. Okay. <laughs> Too funny. So, let me, <laughs> yeah. So let me just see. Let me see. Do you ship internationally? We do not. We ship to Canada, but um, we do not ship internationally. Um, the cost we have, we have shipped previously to Australia, for example. And the shipping cost was actually more than the cost of the kit. And that just, so on the back of the Tuffet, we do have all of, we identify everything you need to source your own Tuffet kit so that you could go to, um, I would start with somebody who does upholstery, uh, mm -hmm. reupholstery in your area and ask them where they get their foam because they do buy foam. And if you know a woodworker, can find a woodworker to cut your wood. All of the measurements, dimensions, and so forth are on the back here because we know, we know that people internationally do want to make these and we are just sad that we cannot accommodate everybody. So do you have a distributor or is it primarily? We do. Okay. We do. We just, we um, use Checkered, uh, Brewer, and United Notions all okay. carry the patterns. Okay. And actually Checker does carry, they do, we drop ship for them. And I believe, and I don't, well, I shouldn't say this if I don't know for certain, but you could check to see if uh, your quilt shop couldn't order kits through Checker and um, have them ship to their quilt shop, wherever that might be. Because okay. Checker does ship internationally daily. Okay, great. Great, so if there were any uh, shops overseas that are looking for any of the supplies, they can go through their local they distributor. They can. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you for bringing that up. We do sell to wholesalers, yes, and distributors. Yeah. Um, it says people are having trouble signing up in the email. Um, <laughs> is, it cap, is it cap sensitive? No, I don't, is it, it, I don't think so. It's um, 
the email on Tuffet's source, talking to Mr. Tuffet. He's between here and, and the office. Okay. Um, if you are having trouble, because is it case sensitive? I don't believe so. Okay. I don't believe but so. If anyone, but again, any, any problems, exactly. the emails, send them to me. Sharon with a Y at Tuffet's source, S-H-A-R-Y-N at Tuffet Source, and we'll make sure that your name gets entered in. Okay, and somebody else just put up a note saying that she bought and she forgot to add the 20% coupon. Could that be? <laughs> we'll <you>? refund it. <laughs> okay, all right, so you'll take care of that. Yes, um, send me an email to remind me. <laughs> okay. I bet uh, she won't be the only one. So hopefully, let me see, it looks like somebody says they already have their supplies, but they haven't tried to make it yet. So I think we inspired them today. They're oh, gonna go I hope so. I hope so. And camera. remind yeah. them again that I do have this online um, quilt class called Let's Make a Tuffet through iQuilt. So thousands of people, literally thousands of people have been successful with just the written instructions that come with the foundation. However, if you're a visual person, and you need to see it, then I would highly recommend that you go uh, take a look at the um, online class, either online or the DVD, because it's a stop, start, rewind, do it, do again until you've got it. Do you have those in front of you that you could show us again just quickly? If you don't, that's okay. I do. Okay. So this uh, is the DVD. This would be through I, uh, I quilt. Okay, I don't carry the DVDs. Okay. They own them. Okay. And then, however, you can purchase the class through my website at tuppetsource.com. And there is a um, iQuilt logo at the bottom. And you just click on that, you'll see the um, trailer. And then okay. from there, you can go to a purchase. Okay. We also have other people signing up that said that they didn't have any problems at all. So, there are some people that are, you know, having a few problems and some that aren't. So, you know, hopefully it'll all get sorted out. So I just wanted to summarize really quickly, Sharon. Um, so just want to make sure everybody remembers that there, and there's a question we need to ask. And Sharon, I forgot to ask you what the question was before we started, because um, we have some giveaways that we wanted to give. And so anyways, but before I get to that, um, I want to remind everyone what Sharon said here. What she said is, if you sign up for their email newsletter, that you have an opportunity to win the small Tuffet. Right. You will be put in a drawing and you will have the new sign, the new people that sign up will have the um, possibility of winning that Tuffet. And you're going to draw that when on November 12th, Sharon, or what? Was yes, the time? because I realize not everybody could be available in this time period, and um, and so we'll extend it until then, and that's when okay. our sale ends as well. And okay. um, so hopefully we'll have lots of new names. Right. So if if anyone wants to be um, entered into that opportunity to win a tuffet that's already made by Sharon herself, mm -hmm. you know please sign up for that. And then the other generous offer that Sharon has offered today is that if you wanna purchase anything from tuffetsource.com from today through November 12th, you get 20% off anything that you're purchasing if you put free spirit. Is it anything Sharon or just the kit? It is the patterns. Oh, okay. The kit, okay. but not the minis and not the oh. notions. Okay. So the patterns in the kit are 20% off Yes. through November 12th, 12th, put free spirit in as the discount code. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right, I wanna make sure. And the other day we talked that free spirit, I'm gonna actually change this just so that you know, hold on. Um, I'm trying to change the spotlight video. Let me see. I don't know why I can't do it, Sharon. Here it is. I'm, I'm working on it. So now you're off of spotlight video. So if I'm talking, it's me. And if it's you talking, it's you, just so that you're, you're aware. Um, the other day that we, we had spoken, we had said, uh, Free Spirit's gonna give away three jelly rolls. So we're gonna give away jelly rolls. Oh my gosh, design rolls. But what am I saying? So we have design rolls here of line work. 
And we are going to give the three away to make one of the tuffets. And Sharon is donating one of her three patterns to make to go with these that we're going to ship out to three winners of these design rolls. So Sharon, did we have a question? Did we settle on a question we wanted to ask the viewers in order to win that? I don't think we did. Okay. I don't think we did. So okay. can you come up with something real quick? Yes. So I think what we'll do is we will just ask the viewer, viewers, which Tuffet are they going to make? Right? Which one yes. are they going to make? And what are you going to use it for? We'd like to know how you're going to use it in your home. Or are you going to give it as a gift? Or how, how are you going to make it? Um, so we would just like to know, you know, what we hope that this inspired you today. We hope that you totally love these Tula Pink Tuffets. Sharon Cole of Tuffet Source did a beautiful job today creating some wonderful inspiration for us in a completely different way. Uh, we know we've been showing you quilts and a lot of different things along the way that we, you know, as we've done this inspired by, but today, you know, Sharon presented a whole different inspiration on how free spirit fabrics can be used. She said earlier that CAFE was her inspiration. She's made many CAFE uh, tuffets. So you could look at these in CAFE, but today, you know, our focus was on Tula Pink and line work. And she gave you a little sneak peek of the Tula's next line that's coming. You may or may not have seen that out there, but line work is available now. Go to your local quilt shop and look for Sharon's patterns, buy her patterns at, on her website, tuffetsource.com, come to Free Spirit Fabrics, freespiritsfabrics.com, look at all of our collections, see all the de designers that we have to offer you and the different ways that you can present and create with at Free Spirit Fabrics. So I hope that I've covered all the material for this week. Uh, we thank everyone for uh, stopping in uh, with us on Thursdays to see what we have to show this week to inspire you. And uh, we will be back next week at three o'clock. So we hope that you join us. Thank you for coming in every week. We're so thrilled to have you. There are people from all over the world, Sharon. I was oh. sent a bunch of notes about where people were coming and I apologize, but we're running out of time. I'd love to say where everybody's from. And, uh, you know, it's just fantastic. So thank you for the inspiration. And do you want to say anything else before we head off? Just, it's been a delight. And thank you, everybody that tuned in and share this video with your friends. So this opportunity to see everything about Tuffets. And just thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. It's been very inspirational. And thank you to everyone that tunes in. We love everybody. And keep on sewing. Just keep on sewing. So until next week. We'll see you all. Have a great week. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you.